An oil tanker is a ship designed for the bulk transport of oil or its products. There are two basic types of oil tankers, crude tankers and product tankers. Tankers today come in varied sizes ranging from handy-sized tankers to ultra-large crude carriers with a dead weight tonnage ranging between 320,000 to 550,000. In this video, we will look at the 10 biggest oil tankers ever built and we will rank them based on dead weight tonnage. Number 10 is Night Superba or Genova. The Night Superba and her sister Night Genova were ultra-large crude carriers that were launched in 1978. While they were originally known as oil ships, they also transported chemicals to ports around the world. They were built in Sweden and were among the last built at that facility before it closed in 1979 due to financial issues that had begun when Japanese shipyards began to exert a level of dominance within the industry. Boosted by a steam engine, Ne Superba and Ne Genova had a gross tonnage of 198,783, a deadweight tonnage of 409,400 and had a length of 381.91 meter. Number 9 is Birch Emperor or Empress. Birch Emperor and her twin sister Birch Empress were super tankers built in 1975 in Japan by Mitsui and they were launched the same year. Birch Emperor served until 1986 while Birch Empress served 8 years more before she was also scrapped. The Birch Empress had a gross tonnage of 198,783 while Birch Emperor had 203,112. At their length of 381.82 meter, there were two of the largest oil tankers ever built. These ships could carry a dead weight of up to 423,700. Number 8 is TI Class. The Tankers International, or simply TI, are a class of four super tankers, namely TI Africa, TI Asia, TI Europe, and TI Oceania. They are the largest double-hulled supertankers in the world and the first ultra-large crude carriers ever built. They are currently the largest ocean-going ships in service, while in 2009 and 2010, TI Asia and TI Africa were converted into sophisticated floating production, storage and offloading vessels. The total length of each vessel is 380 meters and their gross tonnage is 234,006 and have equal deadweight tonnage of 441,893. Number 7 is Globetech Tokyo London. Globetech Tokyo was one of three oil tankers in its class. At the time her keel was laid in 1972, she was the largest super tanker in the world at 378.85 meters and 483,684 tons dead weight. She held that distinction until 1973 when her sister ship, the Globe to London, was launched. Identical in size, the London was larger by 276 deadweight tons, but boat ships had a hold capacity of 580 million liters. The Tokyo was powered by steam turbines totaling 45,000 horsepower geared to a single shaft and the drive system was capable of 16 knots, 17 under ballasted load conditions. Number 6 is Esso Pacific. Esso Pacific was one of the only seven to surpass half a million tons dead weight in history. When plying the sea, the vessel had a fully laden draft of 25.3 meter, rendering it unable to navigate the English Channel, the Suez Canal, or the Panama Canal when loaded to capacity. Served between 1977 and 2002, Enso Pacific had a total length of 406.57 meters and approached a gross tonnage of over 235,000 and 516,421 tons deadweight tonnage. Number 5 is Esso Atlantic. Esso Atlantic was the sister of Esso Pacific. The only difference is that Esso Pacific had a heavier gross tonnage and deadweight tonnage than her sister. They were renamed Katapan Janis in 2002 when they were sold by Esso Eastern Marine Limited Bermuda to Ceres Hellenic Shipping Limited, Limited Greece. They were both scrapped in August and September 2002 in Ghadani Beach, Pakistan. Number 4 is Batalus Bellamaya. 
The Bella Maya was a ship and a Battalus class super tanker built in France in the late 1970s, with four ships of this class built between 1976 and 1979. Three of the ships were scrapped after less than 10 years of oil transport service each, with the fourth one scrapped in 2003. Bella Maya was one of the biggest ships in the world along with her sister ships, which will be competing for the top spot in the video later. The dead weight tonnage of Bella Maya is 553,662. Battalus was the lead ship of her class. It was built in 1976 and scrapped in 1986. It was built for the French branch of Shell Oil but lasted less than a decade before being sold for scrap for less than $8 million. It had the same general characteristics as a sister ship Bella Maya. Number 3 is Prey Roll. Prey Roll was the fourth and final vessel of Battalus class super tankers. She was the only ship of that class to have a career longer than 10 years, sailing until 2003 and the third biggest ship ever constructed. The Prey Roll had an unusually long and productive carrier for one of these giants of the seas. She surpassed her sister ships mentioned below by only a few gross tonnage and deadweight tonnage. Number 2 is Pierre Guillaumont. It was the second biggest ship ever built in the history of mankind, but it didn't last quite long enough as it was expected. The super tanker struggled due to restrictions on where she could be employed and was soon scrapped in South Korea. The vessel length was the same with all her class, had a total gross tonnage of 274,838 and it actually surpassed Prey Roll by only a deadweight tonnage of 4. Number 1 is Seawise Giant. Seawise Giant is the biggest ship of the world ever built until present. Seawise Giant was the longest ship ever built and possessed the greatest deadweight tonnage ever recorded. Seawise Giant, as the many name changes suggest, had a mixed life with many ownership changes. She was also known as Happy Giant, Jari Viking, Nock Nevis, Opama, and finally Mont. Seawise Giant was sunk during the 1980-1988 Iran-Iraq War by Iraqi Air Force attack while anchored off Larak Island, Iran on 14 May 1988. Shortly after the war ended, Norman International bought the shipwreck, salvaged and repaired it. 485.45 meter in length, 24.6 meter in depth, and with a laden draft of 24.6 meter, it was incapable of navigating the English Channel, the Suez Canal, or the Panama Canal. Fully loaded, the displacement of the sea giant was 657,019 tons, which made her possess the greatest deadweight tonnage ever recorded. According to her captain, S.K. Mohan, the ship could reach up to 16.5 knots in good weather. And that, guys, was the 10 biggest oil tankers ever built. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.